Jesus. I used to think that I'm born, I realize that violence is the artist, and I'm just a brush. Lord, to break the chain, you have to remove a leak. Lord, I set out to find that leak and remove it. But Lord, sometimes I don't know if I'm in your will or if I'm so arrogant to think that I'm going into Gabriel. any information I'm his son I just want to know if my father is okay okay can you give me that information please yes I'll hold so bro you know what I mean I'm just trying to find out if pops okay From what I heard you one of the hardest gangsters to ever step foot on this unworthy planet man James stop it you know not that I would know because he hasn't been around since I was a kid James jr can you cool it bro Yes, I'm still here. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. He's okay, man. I'm just gonna transfer him to another facility. Another facility? Now, why can't you just say prison? Because that's where he is. He in prison. Prison. And he ain't never getting out, man. Come on. James, James, James. I'm going to school, man. Hey, listen to me. Now, you know Pop loves you, right? Man. Oh, man. Fool. Take a kiss. What's wrong with you? You know I don't roll like that. Let's get you behind the school, man. $3,700. We don't have $3,700 in the bank to remain a consistent dumb bitch. She decides buying a $3,700 couch is more important than paying the mortgage. The reason I'm sharing this antidote with you dumb fucks is to let you know do not fuck with me today because I will take out $3,700 worth of anger on one of you fuckers, and that's a lot of ass whipping, and none of y'all motherfuckers worth a dime. God gave you two ears and only one mouth. It means you should listen twice as much as you speak. So continue to shut the fuck up and hear what I'm saying, and I might not kill your ass today. All of you motherfuckers is a bunch of fucking idiots. Know that because God always sends a dumb ass motherfuckers to me. Just like my dumb ass couch buying wife. James Animal Allen. Welcome home. Been a long time. Not long enough. Mm -hmm. 15 years you did here, you finally get out, and what happens? Straight back in the joint like every other dumb. Fuck that ever left here. Transfer from Folsom, because you know niggas in space don't get along, so I guess you're my problem now. I ain't nobody's problem, sir. Glad to hear it, Animal. But we don't want no trouble like you had in Folsom. I ain't starting a riot. Tell to the warden. He's throwing you off for the week in the hall. Send you a message.
official. Yep. Damn. You're gonna have to hurry up with that, though. Yeah. Greedy, you know that? Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go. Go where? School, fool. Nigga, I'm trying to stay here and finish the rest of this chronic. Dude, you ain't been to school all week. So why would I fuck my week up by going today? <laughs> Your mom ain't going to trip? Man, I gave her like three joints. She ain't coming out of her room today. Word. Mm -hmm. All right, man. I'm out. All right. Yo. Yo, you coming to park after school today? Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, man. was in too much of a hurry to get to school. And I ain't gonna be late. Don't you see me running? Why you ain't at work yet anyway? Well, I figured it was Friday. Call and tell him be a little bit late. Uh-huh. Pick up a couple breakfast burritos. Catch my little brother on the way to school. Oh, okay. So you got breakfast burritos in the car? Yep. Sausage and eggs? Is that what you like? You gonna be late, man. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Damn. Damn, man, why are you eating that like that? Y'all been up there smoking weed, huh? Heck no. Tripping. I don't know why you hang with that fool anyway. Call me cool, man. You just need a little guidance. Guidance? Yeah, what you know about guidance? It's a brother that stays on your ass so long you can barely breathe. That's right. Ain't about to let up, neither. Mm. You both mine? Yep. It's time. All right, Jermaine, have a good day. All right. Let's go. Rise and shine. Right. What you been doing in there all week while I was enjoying my freedom? Trying to figure out what a $3,700 couch looks like. You and I have both been at this a long time. We've pretty much seen it all, ain't that right? Pretty much. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's like I've never seen so much hate. I feel like this place is about to go away shit, you know what I'm saying? Man, that's not my problem. It's gonna be everybody's problem, animal. Shit hits the fan. But you got respect. Don't forget that. Get the supplies and take them to the cell. Confuse the fact that I let you have that bed means that I'm a punk and there's gonna be some ass cracking in here. <laughs> Cause there ain't gonna be no ass cracking. Cause I guarantee you, if I get my ass cracked, ain't nobody sleeping around here. Ever. Not a wink. Calm down, son. I ain't got no intention of raping your little ass. <laughs> well, that's good news. Hey, yeah. Uh, name's Lou, by the way. Hey, I heard about uh, that riot you started with those Mexicans, man. You saw nothing from nobody. That's not what I heard. I, 
I heard you cut up this Mexican dude, and the whole place went crazy, man. But that's your business. I just thought you might want to know about Uno, that's all. Man, he's this big Mexican dude, man. Leader of them all, in fact. What about him? His cousin is the dude you cut up. I mean, the dude they say you cut up. But, but that's none of my business. So I guess you coming back here is supposed to be a big deal or something, right? Why is that? You know, the fights. You know, the fights, man. What fights? You know, the fights between the two inmates, man. Everybody been on it. Everybody ain't on that, man. Captain Ellis? Nah, nah, he old school, man. But Hollywood, he all up in that. Hollywood? Yeah. What we call the warden. On account of he always going to movie auditions. He want to be some big movie star or something. Well, Casada, he give Hollywood and the guards. They cut him. Nobody mess with him. So what they got to do with me? Say, back in the day, man, you used to be a badass when it came to the fights, man. Casada set him up and bam! <laughs> you knock him down, man. Well, more power to him. I don't do that no more. It's crazy, man. What? It's because I'd already set up your first fight. Where'd I find Casada? You find any pastor at the church. <laughs> Degenerate motherfucker, are you gonna pay? Are you? You owe the church $200, you miserable. Uh, and the Bible says to give wholeheartedly, you fucking prick. Hey, I forgive you. And I'm gonna send you out amongst the wolves, and you will get me the money that you owe the church, and I want it this afternoon. A fucking man! Are you surprised? See, when others were studying to become jailhouse lawyers, I studied to become a jailhouse pastor. I read the good book, took a couple of tests, and voila. I am the inmate pastor, and membership has its privileges. I guess you won't be the first man to fuck up in the name of God. I'm not fighting. Now, wait a minute. Don't turn down shit till you heard the whole deal. When I heard about the riots over there, I took a special interest in you. Yeah, I pulled a few strings with the help of my friend, the warden. Had you transferred here? The whole thing. And now, I need you to run the niggas for me. Because right now, they're not playing ball with my dope game. Rollo's running things over there, and he says the brothers got to buy their dope from him. Well, that's 50% of my business, and I want those customers back, so I need you to take his ass out. Now, I assume you're going to tell me why I would do this. Well, for the money, of course. You're going to get a decent cut. Decent enough to get both of your boys out of the project. Don't talk about my family. I take care of them. You understand? When was the last time you saw James Jr.? I said don't hey, talk hey. about my family. All right. But I want you to think about this. No need to think about it. God forgive you. Have it your way. I always preferred Plan B anyway, boys. This is fly when you get this. Dog the day? Yo, let me get that, bud. Come on, girl. Man, you smoke the whole thing. Yo, pass that shit. Yeah, I done came off since I started working. 
switch. See that, man? How can I be down? On the real, that's why I'm here. Oh, for real, Twist want to play like me on the team, huh? Nah, uh, he asking about your boy James Jr. Why? That nigga ask you to do something, you don't ask why, you just do it. Something bad? Nah. I thought you said you ain't know what he wanted. If it was something bad, I would have shot your ass already. Hop in. in the back seat. I ain't playing with you. Why are you G's up, dog? Because I want to talk to James, and I don't need you telling me what you're going to do in my motherfucking car. Look, man, y'all y'all just work it out. I'm going to walk, all right? Man, so just get in the car. Damn. version of the true Hollywood story. He used to be a small-time dope man, right? But one day, he got kidnapped and robbed. I'm talking about they stole all his shit. The niggas he owed, they didn't give a fuck about him getting robbed. They just wanted their cheese. So they go looking for this motherfucker, right, to peel his cap back. But out of nowhere, Twist come up with all the money plus interest, and instead of recopping from them, they start buying off him. And when Twist caught up with the niggas who robbed him, shit. Him and his boys chopped them fools up like Peking Wok, boy. Turn them into Kung Pao niggas for real. Yo, James. Check it out, man. Now, how the hell you know this shit? I know everything, man. Come on. What up, Big Twist? It's cracking, dog. My shit, dog. I'm just trying to get my chill on. You feel me? I was going to ask you if I'm... Um... You James. Yeah? I know your pa's on me. Animal. He's a straight up legend. Of course, you had to be round them times to know that, but your pops are good people. Yeah, well, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I feel you. Must have been hard not having your father around when you was growing up. It's cool, man. My brother, he looks out for me. Well, shit, that's right. Little Animal's your brother, huh? Nah, you don't go by that no more, man. Well, check it. I'm gonna look out for you from now on, bro. Why? Hey, dog. this man is offering you his friendship and shit, man. What's up? That's cool. <laughs> Look, your pa looked out for me back in the day. I'm just uh, trying to return the favor. That's all. Did. Yeah, well, thanks. Y'all come to the J-Club tonight. What? I ain't 21, man. Don't even worry about that. I'm gonna send a car to pick y'all up. Hey, thanks, Big Twist, boy. Hey, I was, I was gonna ask you. You want me on the team? Y'all in, dog? Man, you ate all the pizza? Man, you slow motion. Now you greedy. 
Call it what you want. <sighs> Got your report card. <laughs> Stop trying to act like it's not good, man. Five A's and one B plus, huh? B plus. Boy, you slipping. Slipping? And I'm smarter than the teacher. Yeah, see, so you had to let her know that, too. Exactly. Now, what you need to do is keep your books open, your mouth closed, man. But you know what? You're doing such a bomb job in your report card. I'm going to take you to your favorite spot to eat tomorrow night. How about that? Red Lobster? All right. Ain't that what you like? Shoot, sure. you know it. Look, I'm just a little tired, so I'm going to call it a night. You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm feeling all right. All right, then, little bro. All right, then. Don't forget the dishes, man. Whatever. I ain't on the pizza. Hey, good job on that report card, dog. sudden wants to be my best friend, man? Or best friend, nigga. No, I don't. I don't. Are you guys James and Tommy? Pippin' ain't easy. Somebody gotta do it. Lots of rap video. Right now you starring in it. So get your drink off, baby.
Bomber told me I wasn't never gonna be shit. Casada's down there. Need some help? <sighs> Ain't no problem. Hey, thanks for coming. I ain't here for you. <laughs> hey, I thought I told you nobody else. Relax, will you? Animal here is our partner. I ain't partners with nobody. And I told you to think about that, didn't I? Now, you think about this. Last night, I had your son James Jr. framed for murder. <laughs> Motherfucker! You <laughs> Motherfucker! You do like that? And the assistant district attorney here will see that your son ends up in prison, I swear to fucking Christ. Now, if you don't play ball with me, I promise you that Mr. Dillon here will prosecute your son to the full extent of the law, and he will end up in prison. And I will arrange for a reception committee to fuck him up the ass so bad that his asshole will look like a big chug when they are through with him. Now, Mr. Dillon will do exactly what I tell him to do. Because two years ago, at his office Christmas party, I arranged for an incredible piece of ass to throw herself at him. And Mr. Dillon, in his inebriated state, took her home and banged her. Unfortunately for Mr. Dillon, the young lady in question was underage. So Mr. Dillon uh, has been beholden to me ever since. If he doesn't do what I tell him to do, I'll turn his ass in. And he will end up in prison. And the big chug scenario will apply to him. So, my only question to you, animal, is this. Do you really have anything to think about? That's all for now. You can go. Thanks again for coming. I sure as hell hope that you can control your people. I'll do what I have to do. But in eight months, we're through. Scumbag. Now, is that any way to talk to a pastor, you fuck? How'd you like me to have you baptized, asshole? starting her first day at the public defender's office tomorrow. What? Really me? Oh my god! <laughs> Pulled some strings. So when do I start? Oh, you said tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Dylan, no more favors. I know, I know. You want to do it all on your own. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Kate Martinez. Here you go. That's it? Is that my whole caseload? Just a second door on your left. My brother's public pretender. Public defender. Yeah, look, whatever, man. Look, I know you guys used to deal with a bunch of scumbags and everything, but my brother's different. All right, it was his best friend that got shot and killed. Now I know you got a huge caseload. You don't care nothing about your clients, but check this out. That's his report card. All right, all A's and one B plus. He's not that kind of kid. Look, I'm reviewing the case right now. Why don't you just give me a few? Yeah, right. Look, look. I would have hired a real lawyer. All right. But I had to spend my money on bail. I know you got a hundred other cases and everything, but yo, look, he's innocent, all right? That's my brother. This one right here is different. As a matter of fact, I happen to be a real lawyer. And this is my only case, so you don't have to worry. Wait, wait, hold, hold up. What do you mean this is your only case? It's my first day. Your first day? Man, get the fuck out of here. What the hell no, is I going on? I assure you that. Oh, bullshit. Transfer in here. Let's get him set up. Hello. Scarface. Oh, po Polo. <laughs> you don't call me that no more, man. Oh, why, you ain't shit your fast over. So <laughs> it was only the one time. And I told y'all, that was chilly. I was still hungry. I was trying to smuggle some food back to my cell. Back to your ass, nigga. That's how to get the drugs in. Oh, nigga, that was your first night in jail. Your ass is just a little too nervous. That's the fucking problem right there, boy. Man. <laughs> man, do you need anything else? Oh, nigga, I just fuck with you, man. It's all good. <laughs> Yo, I heard the animals at Top Shot calling this motherfucker right here. Yo, man, at the time of that nigga back in Folsom during the riots, that shit was crazy, man. They had niggas transferred out right away in this shit, man. Animals are hardest, coldest gangsta I know. Old school. Don't make them like that no more. Well, you like his biggest fan now? No, no. I'm just saying, I ain't never seen a G do it like that before. That's all. I do my thing, too. Yeah, but not like that. I get the job done, man. He ain't the only nigga putting in work. Yeah, maybe. The fuck you mean, maybe, nigga? Look, man, never mind. It's all good, all right? Let me tell you something. I'm sick of motherfuckers taking credit for my work. Let me tell you something else, nigga. Nigga, I'm the one who just started that ride. Yeah, that's right. One of Casada's boys came up to me and offered me cheese to do a hit on that nigga. Casada? Yeah, Casada. He got people everywhere, nigga. Shit, I didn't even know this dude. Stuck him right in his face. I ain't got nothing personal against him, but I gotta make that paper. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't even know it was Uno's cousin. And that's what started the riot. So next time you wanna pull your pom poms out, make sure you holler out for this nigga right here, son. You heard me? Oh, I'm Jim Walters. Let's go. Well, I heard Pastor of the church wants to bless you. Exactly what I was talking about. You hang out with fucking thugs, man, you get caught up. Get your ass in the goddamn car. The fuck was you thinking, James, huh? Answer me, boy! Tommy's dead. The other man was having a time in this world. Should I tell me everything that happened? Some dude was found dead behind the church. Scarface? How you know that? Oosh. Oosh. Animal, I need to talk to you. Now you're 
sure that's everything you can remember? Yeah. You never saw the weapon? I told you no. All I heard was a gunshot and Tommy was dead. Hey, James, calm down, man, all right? I know it's hard. Just be cool, all right? Just answer her questions, all right? That's right. I'm on your side. Darius, you're his stepbrother, correct? Correct. And your mom, Miss Allen, where is she? She passed away. Oh, sorry. What happened? Hey, look, do we have to talk about this right now? It's going to come up in court. We should be prepared. She died of a drug overdose. And Mr. Allen? She's in prison. Wait, don't do that. Do what? So just because our father's in prison, you assume that this is a lost cause. No, I don't. But yes, the jury might. Isn't it your job to make them see it the right way? Scene. It's okay. Why, Bob? Huh? Why is it okay for you to spend the rest of your life in jail for a crime I committed? You got a son up there, man, that needs you. You needed me, Darius. I wasn't there. What about that? I let you watch me do things a son should never see his father do. And I remember what I said, just like it was yesterday. I said, now you can kill a nigga. See, son, I, I didn't have any love for myself, and I didn't have any love for anyone who looked like me, black, brown, yellow, red. Now, I don't want to make the same mistake with James Jr. So please, let me do this, son. I don't want our next generation growing up in prison. Let it stop right here, right now, with me. Okay. Okay. So what are you gonna do? Exactly what they want. current leader of the darkies. 
I don't want him walking out of here. You understand me? Son, if you don't want to die, you should just walk away. Walk away? I'll fuck you up. I've been calling you guys, never made your appointment. Oh, yeah? Listen, I have some news that can prove James is innocent. Oh, yeah, that's cool. You should, uh, you should get on that. Darius, we found a witness. What? Across the street from where the murder took place, there's a bank where a witness was taking money out of the ATM. And he heard the gunshot. Do you see what happened? No, he ran for cover as soon as he heard the shot. Uh, so he didn't see shit? No, he didn't. But the ATM camera did. Did you hear me? Isn't this great? Listen, you need to forget about it. What? Look, my father, he has everything under control. Your father is incarcerated. That's what this is about. Darius, you have to trust me. Trust you? Trust you? Lady, I don't even know you. All right, listen, you bring your high society ass down here to talk about some crusade that you can talk about at your next dinner party. But see, why you up there passing around a great poupon and shit? We down here doing a real crusade. So give me a fucking break on that trust me shit, all right? I'm gonna subpoena that video. Yeah, you do that. Oh, this shit's fucked up, but we still got an operation to run here. Now that Rollo's gone, we need to make some changes. We need to vote on a new leader. What y'all talking about? Like I was saying before, we got to stay strong and let them know that just because Rollo's gone, we still ain't nothing to be fucked with. So who's going to be the leader? Shit, nigga. You about to vote on it. <clears throat> Is that right? I think you want to be the leader. Why you say that? You the one doing all the talking. Giving the motherfucking General Patton speech trying to rally the troops and shit. Nah, nigga. Ain't gonna be no vote. I'm your leader. That's bullshit, nigga. What makes you our leader? I'm stupid. 
Ain't that right, Lou? You the stupidest nigga I know, man. Now, I'm gonna give y'all my resume. Name is Adam. Now, for those of y'all who knew here, it's ask the man to your left, to your right. I guarantee you, you one degree of separation from knowing about all the work I done put in here. Now, if you have doubts, well, I suggest you do some research. And if you still have doubts in the air, then I invite you to come visit me in my cell, and maybe I can convince you otherwise. <laughs> you ever heard some shit like that before? I never even seen something like that before. Say you topped off. I know. to you is don't get caught up in this shit storm without an umbrella. When a storm comes, you can't always trust the weather, man. <laughs> All right. Okay, this, uh, this is Darius Allen. Darius? Is everything okay? <sighs> Look, I'm sitting here and I've decided that, um... Hey, listen, we have that whole, uh, attorney-client thing with you, right? Yes, of course. You can tell me anything. I can help. All right, look, um... Well, my brother was set up. <laughs> What's up, son? Who this? This is Jim's attorney, Kate Martinez. Kate, this is my father, James Allen Sr. I had to tell her about you. Tell her what? About the setup. Darius. Jeb, do me a favor. Pull out that log sheet of yours and tell me it was meeting with James Allen. It's his son, Darius Allen, and his other son, James Allen Jr.'s lawyer. Kids up on a murder rap. Like father, like son, huh? Mm-hmm. Apparently. There's a video that proves your son is innocent. An ATM video. 
this video. Well, we're getting it from the bank today. See, I know there are things that you can tell me about what happened. And if I'm going to help James, you have to tell me everything. Well, you have the video. And you sure it proves James Jr. is innocent. We'll take it from there. That's fair enough. I'll deal with you later. You ever heard a knocking? Sorry, sir, but we need to talk. Give me a minute. I'm afraid this needs to be dealt with right away. These fights that Casad is putting on is causing a lot of tension within the population, specifically between the blacks and the Mexicans. Now, I know you think this is harmless, sir, but I respectfully disagree. I think this place is getting ready to blow, and it's not going to be pretty when it does. We need to shut this thing down. Look, the prisoners just need to blow off a little steam. It's no big deal. It's going to be a big deal, sir, if it turns into a serious riot. Have you ever seen a serious riot, sir? Don't you patronize me. This is my prison. I'll run it my way. Now get the fuck out of my office. Counselor. What is it I can do for you? We got a problem. An ATM video proves Animal's kit didn't do it. Well, that's very interesting. What do you intend to do about it? There's nothing to do. It's over. You know, you Ivy League boys are supposed to be so fucking smart. But you're really fucking stupid. It is not over until it's done. Now, you said that you were going to use people that you could control. Now, if you've got a person that you're using that is getting in the way of your control, you have a decision to make. Who's more important? You or them? I am telling you that nobody from my office picked it up. But they weren't from my office. Why would the bank give them the video? But I have the subpoena. How could they have one? How long will it take to get another one? Three days? OK, please, just do it. I need to talk to you. I'm busy, dog. You busy? You about yeah. to motherfucking be busy bleeding. Oh, it's funny? Shit is funny? Y'all fuckers killed Tommy and set me up? Hey, right, man, yo, oh, yo what's up, man? Oh, oh, shut up! Man, punk ass. Yeah, you don't know who you fucking with, what? bitch. You yeah. punk ass better bring me the twist. Bring my man, ass Man, you don't know who you oh, oh, Bring my ass a twist. I could do this shit all day, man. But I can see your nose is starting to look like a fucking bloody ham hot. What it's gonna be? Huh? All right, but it's your motherfucking funeral. Say some shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Somebody here to see you. <laughs> Tell them to put down the guns, man. What can I do for you, young blood? You killed Tommy, man. Eh? What makes you think that? I'm playing with you, Kobe. Go. Whoa, youngster. I'm fucking playing with you. You need to be smart right now. 
fuck you think gonna happen? You pull that trigger. You don't think my boys, they gonna kill you? And what about your brother? Hey, don't say shit about my brother, man. Your brother. You acting real protective like over the man shot your own father. Oh, my bad. You ain't even know that shit, huh? <laughs> See, I was there when OGs like your father paved these streets. And yeah, I was just a little nigga tagging along behind them, but I made sure to carve my name into the wet pavement before it dried, you dig? So even though over time, people forget things and shit gets changed, certain things, certain things, youngin', you feel me? I know your brother shot your father. Left him there to die and take the rap for the murder weapon. <laughs> oh, yeah. So your own brother is the reason that you had to grow up without a father. <laughs> Damn. If that ain't some ironic shit. <laughs> What? You don't believe that? You think I'm lying? Go ask him then. You ask him, you look him in the eyes when you ask him. See if those eyes don't tell you the truth. Should I go smoke that fool? Now we can't touch him. Gave your side on my word. Fuck that, he broke my nose. What you mad? <laughs> you mad at me <laughs> then, fool? Shouldn't have brought that nigga here anyway. Shit. Are you Kate Martinez? Yes. From Susanville Penitentiary. And uh, I know you were there recently. I also know of a way where we can uh, help each other out. What do you mean? Oh, no, no. Are you okay? Um, you have a client named uh, James Allen? Yeah. His father's incarcerated at Susanville. Okay? I believe this man is being blackmailed. I knew it. I mean, that's great to know. I figured he was set up, but I had no idea who was behind it. What else do you know? No, no, I can't. I can't talk about this here. Well, can you meet me somewhere else then? Uh, I'll call you. You said you wanted to know who visits him? So spit it out. Log shows a lawyer and his son, Darius Allen. Why would he need a lawyer? It's not his lawyer. It's his other son, James Allen Jr.'s. Who you fighting next? Who? Who no. <sighs> you had this planned all the time. Make me the leader of the blacks, fight the leader of the Mexicans, a race war sparks, the white boys sit back and take over. You have a great day, my friend. I'm at your place with food. Yeah, I thought you were going to be done work by three. Oh, OK. No, that's fine. I understand. Yeah, love you, too. Hello? Your shit is starting to unravel. And you need to take care of it. 
now. I went down and got the videotape, but they're just gonna give her another one in a few days. You said that you were gonna use people that you could control. Yeah, well, I thought I could. Look, I am too close here. I'm not gonna let you fuck this up for me! Look, there's something else. She's made a connection between the kid and animal about the blackmail. But it's cool. I'm the only one she's told, so I'll handle it. How does she find out? Um, one of the guards, a guy named Ellis. All right, look. You take care of that lawyer. I will take care of Ellis. I can't. Just find out where she fucking lives, and I will send somebody. It's not that simple. Look, you are not gonna get your pretty little hands dirty. She's my fiance. <laughs> what? You've got to fucking be kidding me. I'm glad you find that amusing. You are a bona fide imbecile. Why in the world would you use your fiance? What? But because you thought that you could control her? I just hope you can get the deposit back on the wedding cake. What's that supposed to mean? I mean that one of you is not going to make it to the church on time. And I'll let you decide which one that is. But I love her. Well, you should have thought of that before you got her involved in this. Wouldn't you say? Now. Either you take care of this or my boys will. And if my boys take care of this, well, they like to play before they work. That's all I'm going to say on the subject. What's wrong with her? I think it's a head gasket. Oh, yeah? Mm. You try starting it up a few times, sometimes they do that. What the hell? Yo! James! Hey, 
Hey, man. So, why'd you want me here? Are you the reason my father's in jail? What? Are you the reason my father's in jail? I told you that. Man, did you shoot my father, put him in jail for life? Or bullshit me? Yeah. All this time, that's why you're always on my ass? Because this shit is your fault? But I thought it was love. It was. It, it is. It is. But that's bullshit! You felt guilty! This whole shit is a lie. Your own father. Look, James, I'm sorry, man. I, I should explain it sooner, man. But fuck you! Fuck you! Sorry, man! Father, how does it feel? Huh? How does it feel to have a gun in your face? James, put the gun down, man. You don't want to do this, all right? Why? Huh? You did it. And now you want to beg for your life? I'm not begging for my life, man. I'm begging for yours. So what's happening to me right now, man, I deserve without a doubt. I've tried so many times, man, to look you in your eyes, man, and tell you what happened. Yeah, man, we, we had an argument. I was upset because I just found out about you. And Pop, man, he was in prison, man, for so long. And I've been waiting for him my whole life. He got out, I thought, man, finally, you know? Finally, I got my father. Man, it was so cool for a while, man. You met your moms. They had you. And he gave you his name. Man, that fucked me up. Furious, man. I was upset. I confronted him. We argued. I shot him. Yeah, and I shot my own father. And that gun that I bought off the street had murders on it. So he was either turning me in. Take the rap with a gun. Pop man, he figured, hey, you know, <laughs> already a two-time loser. He was being a father to me. And now look at this, man. <laughs> Got a gun pointed at me now. Funny how our sins always seem flawless. Nah, I don't know what to believe, man. You don't have to believe me, James. Believe in yourself, man. Put the gun down, man. I never doubted you for a second, little brother. I never doubted you for a second, man. We'll show this to the judge tomorrow. Well, you know what? I think we should celebrate, man. Huh? 
Kate, you stay for dinner. I would love to, but my fiance's planning dinner for me at home. Okay. So, uh, listen, you and, um, <laughs> your man's name was? Dylan, he's actually the assistant district attorney. Cool. Okay, well, um, listen, you and, you and Dylan, you guys have a wonderful time tonight. Yeah, yeah, I accept the charges. Go ahead, sir. Pop, hey, hey, check it. We got the video. Good. Have you seen it? Yeah, it shows that James didn't do it. Where's the video? No, Kate has. She's taking it to court this morning. Kate has it. Why don't you have it? No, trust me, Pop. Kate won't let nothing happen to it. Look, I, I, I don't know Kate. I, you know, I, I don't trust Kate. Pop, calm down, OK? I understand. No, no you don't understand. I have to do something today that might cause all hell to break loose in this prison. Now, unless that tape is in court, I have to do it. Pop, trust me, I've seen it. It's a for sure thing. Darius, this thing goes way high. The assistant DA, the warden. Wait, 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 hold on. What'd you say? The assistant district attorney. Dylan. What, what, you, you, you know city officials now? No, 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 Pop, you understand that. That's Kate's fiance. Are you sure about this? I'm absolutely sure. I mean, what, what you want me to do? Dylan. What happened? Are you OK? You know, I was at work. I fell asleep. <clears throat> Fine. I waited up and I called you. I was really worried. I'm okay. I just had a lot on my mind. I, uh, I brought you a coffee. I smell alcohol. Were you drinking last night? Yeah, earlier. The DA wanted to talk. We a couple drinks. There's something you want to tell me? Like what? Is there someone else? <laughs> no. Don't be silly. It's, it's, it's just work. I know I've been in pain lately with this case and all. I feel like a weight has been lifted. My God. And this was just my first case. What a wretch. It's everything I was dreaming about. Making a difference, you know? Oh, and you will follow up on that prison situation. It's disgusting what's been going on in there. And I'm going to try and reopen the case against James Allen Sr. I'm babbling. OK, I'll stop talking shop. I promise. I'm sorry I've been so distant from you. But I'm going to make it up to you. I love you. <laughs> so here's to our life together. Hello? 
Hey, Kate, listen. I just talked to my father, and your fiance is part of this whole thing. What are you talking about? Some man named Casada has some kind of dirt on him, and he made him help frame James Jr. Hey, don't be ridiculous. My father might not be sure about you, but I am. Okay, and I know you have nothing to do with this, which means you're in danger. Okay, so listen, tell me where you are. What if you're wrong? Kate, listen to me. They cannot let that tape go to court today. All right, listen, if I'm wrong, so what? But if I'm right, they got to get rid of you. Okay, so please tell me where you are. Come out. All right, you're at home. Let me get the address. I'm not going to. Well, just tell me what it is. Damn. It's 12 Collins, apartment 5. But All I'm right, with Del. I'm on my way. Del is involved. No, 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 no. You got, you got court today, so, um, um, look, I'll meet you in the court parking lot later, okay? What does Casada have on you? Now I know why I only had one case. Why you pulled strings to get me hired? You were supposed to go this far. Kate, you gotta believe me. Stop me from going to court today. Oh my God. Okay, they were gonna hurt you. In this way. In this way, what, Dylan? This way, what? So how's she doing? She was poisoned with triminidal chloride. If you hadn't gotten here when you did, let's just say she's very lucky. And also, whoever did this wasn't aware that uh, caffeine actually minimizes the effect. Oh, hey, thanks. Hey. What time is it? Look, don't worry about that. You know, you just need to relax. To get to court. The Raymond said. Oh, go, go, just slow down, slow down. All right, sit your ass down. Just don't move. Listen, you're going to the hospital. We'll get down there. We'll tell them everything that happened, okay? Yeah. There's too much riding on this. We can't give them another chance to cover it up. Wait until we get James cleared. Your father's in danger. All right, well, wait a minute. You want me to drive you? Wait, hold up. How are you going to drive? Mason brings you down here today. Ooh, just a little observation. What's on the docket? The James Allen murder case. You know it? Well, sure, I heard about it. How's it going? Kid didn't show up with his lawyer. Judge revoked bail. We just broke for lunch. What case you working on? I apologize for being late, but I was detained. Kate, I can explain. No, was... just stop. Okay? Look, some things Just stop. Some things stop. No, shut up, okay? I don't want to hear it anymore. That's enough. Hey, hey. What's going on out here? Your Honor, I have a video that fully exonerates my client. 
and proves he was framed. This is the evidence, this tape. Not here. Kate, I want everyone in my chamber. so serious. This is going to be fun. Here's Uno. Don't forget, I got you on a short leash, motherfucker. Yes, I'll accept the charges. Hello? Who's this? This is Darius. All right! Animal told me I should just keep calling till I got somebody. All right, cool. You tell them that James is free and we got the tape to court. <laughs> man, all right, man! That's fantastic! Look, look, I gotta go. All right, later. with you or your people. Kasada hired a brother named Scarface to kill him. You hear me? Really need to leave town? Yeah, I figure it's time for a fresh start. Never had much luck here. I mean, it was my pop's idea. He's worried that someone might come after us in order to get even with him. Yeah, but it's over. I mean, the warden got charged. Casada got another 10 years. I know, I know, but as long as he's in there, you know, hate's gonna follow.
I told you was gonna vote on it, nigga. It is what it is, brother. Nicaragua never say the word nada. Rolling up my ganja, I'ma put it on her. Set up a chick, that's why the haters wanna. Wanna handle my bitch. Drinking with it. Oh, 